Hello and welcome to the Thursday, March 23rd, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Augusta, Georgia. Still a lot of question about, well, uh, cropping tools that don't crop images, right? Or at least uh, leave some remainder of the original image uh, behind. We had last week uh, this issue with uh, the Android uh, snipping tool. And well, uh, yesterday I talked about the same problem with Windows 11. Didier now took a little bit of closer look at this problem and how to identify affected images. First of all, the Windows 10 snipping tool is not an issue here because it can't open existing files and uh, this problem only shows up if you are reducing or cropping existing files. And DDA's PNG dump tool always was able to actually identify data after the iEnd chunk, which usually marks the end of a PNG image. This technique, aside from all these cropping issues, uh, was useful uh, because sometimes uh, miscreants are adding data like binaries and such at the end of images just sort of to obfuscate their presence. So that's why PNG Dump, I believe, originally had this feature. Now, uh, Didier uh, did add a new option to this feature, dash F or find, that will scan any file that you give it and then basically report on known PNG chunks and also, well, on unexpected data. The nice thing about this particular option is that now you can actually just send a bunch of images uh, to the tool and then basically have it report on what particular chunks it finds and if there was any uninspected data. So this should make it relatively easy to scan larger numbers of files for any problems. Probably not a bad idea to sort of look at some of the PNGs that you have sitting around. And you know, given that we had this in two different snipping tools already, maybe there are other snipping tools that have a similar issues. More details as usual in Didier's uh, diary post. Also a little bit unrelated, but still the same problem. There is also now a Yara rule to scan for these files. And WordPress security company Sucuri published an interesting blog post with a new trick that they observe used in websites that were compromised and that are running WooCommerce. WooCommerce is often used uh, with a WordPress and uh, it's sort of an e-commerce extension uh, to WordPress. The exact vulnerability isn't quite clear. It was exploited, but probably any one of the WordPress uh, WooCommerce or similar vulnerabilities may have been exploited here. The new trick is how the data is then being exfiltrated. In the past, attackers often added JavaScript to HTML files in order to act then as a keystroke logger. Now, in this case, the malicious code is actually hidden inside an authorize.net payment module. Authorize.net is a big company that processes uh, credit cards for merchants. So nothing originally wrong with this author authorized net module, but the attacker will then essentially add a backdoor to it that will save any credit card number to an image file, encrypt the data first, and then the attacker may just download that image with the credit card data attached to it in order to retrieve whatever was collected. Since the malicious code here is just inserting this uh, module, it's not visible on the website like JavaScript. And apparently according to Sucuri, attackers have had issues lately where they modified the HTML, they added JavaScript, but then because of companies like Sucuri scanning uh, for malicious JavaScript, well, uh, this was easily discovered. Uh, with this modified module, there is no visible change to the sort of public part of the website at all. And tell us, release some details regarding vulnerabilities in the Netgear Orbi mesh wireless system. The headline vulnerability here is a remote code execution. However, in order to 
exploited, you actually need to have access to the network, which should be password protected. And also you do need the Mac address of the vulnerable device, which again, typically requires that you have access to the local network. Still something that you do want to patch Talus or Cisco here has released proof of concept exploits for this vulnerability. There are a total of three vulnerabilities that are being patched. A fourth vulnerability was reported by Talus to Netgear, but has not yet been patched. Well, that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.